So dear students, let's continue with the food hazards and overview. So what is a food hazard? It could be anything that hampers the quality of the food. Now as we have come across uh, examples, we can see that they could be physical factors which happen to enter due to a, which have an accidental entry. Now they could be hair, they could be needles, they could be dirt, they could be wood, nails, bones, broken glass, metal staples. So any physical factor or it could be even bits of paper or might be even a, a hook which was been um, in a fish's mouth, a hook which has happened to enter the fish's mouth during its when it was being caught that could be a physical factor the hair from a person who is cooking that is a physical factor a needle or some dirt some sand in the food if the food the raw material if you have taken if you have not washed it properly probably there could be some dirt in it which could enter then wood when you are taking meat and uh, if you are chopping it on a wooden on a wooden cutting board what if a small bit of a wood enters into the foot? That is a physical hazard. There could be nails. The person, if the person is not, uh, who is processing food is not uh, maintaining proper hygiene and the person is uh, uh, happen, uh, not wearing a glove, probably a bit of her, his or her nail can happen to enter the foot. So that's a physical hazard. When you are extracting or taking uh, boneless pieces of a chicken or a meat, and uh, if small bits of bone happen to infiltrate into the foot, that becomes a hazard. You, it could be any broken glass, metal staples. These are all coming under the physical hazards that could happen to enter into the foot. Now coming to the biological factors, we have come across the one, some examples like bacteria. We had Salmonella, Escherichia coli, which we mentioned earlier. And uh, some viruses like norovirus. There could be parasites like in the pork probably we find tapeworm that is a parasite. There could be any mold, a mold which is growing, a bread mold. If a bread is uh, having a mold when it is being processing, like when it reaches a market itself, if it is having a, a have biological factor like a mold growing on it, that is easy. That is a biological hazard. Sometimes even certain poisonous plants, poisonous mushrooms can happen to be biological hazards and the seafoods itself sometimes might be contaminated by naturally occurring toxins. They are also included under the biological hazards. Coming to the chemical factors, as we know there are pesticides. Pesticides can enter from different ways. Now probably if the food has been, uh, if the agricultural food that we take from the farm is being uh, exposed to pesticides, probably that could cause. And uh, you know the example of, uh, uh, we had even in Plachi Meda in Kerala, you know that uh, the Coca-Cola was infested with pesticides. That's an example of a food pesticide infiltrating into the food. You could have certain food additives which are not being permitted. Now, even probably in the higher levels. Now, monosodium glutamate uh, or Chinese salt is a food additive. It is okay at a particular level, but beyond the level it is being considered to be as a chemical hazard. Then some preservatives, the preservatives are being pro provided about at a, there is a level for the preservative to be added. Beyond that when it comes, it becomes a chemical hazard. There could be cleaning supplies uh, like detergents and all that could infiltrate into the food. You could have toxic metals like lead, copper, brass, zinc, antimony and cadmium that could enter into the food. Now how do, you, how do these chemicals uh, like toxic metals happen to enter now? If you have lead for an example I can tell you, if the plant product is growing in a sand which is uh, already having high levels of heavy metals, uh, the plant has a probable uh, like uh, plants especially spinach. Uh, uh, chira and all that they have a special property that they will absorb onto them a lots of uh, these heavy metals it's a part of bioaccumulation which happens so if you take those plants and you take them as an ingredient in your food product probably that would enter into the next food cycle so these are the different types of uh, uh, hazards that we come across the physical hazards the biological hazards and the chemical hazards
I hope this is clear to you. Uh, and in addition to this, you can have different hazards like uh, uh, other factors would also be there, but we can, uh, there would be probably many of them, but you can divide them into different. Now, I, as I have mentioned here, of the towels in the kitchen that we mentioned earlier, that could also come under physical hazards. So, uh, each and every industry could have a different hazard probably, and you can basically divide them into three different types, the physical hazards, biological factors as well as the chemical factors. So, we will continue in the next session. Thank you for now.